Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is going to be a monthly love reading for Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. How are you guys doing? I want to know what's happening with you guys this month of August 2020. I want to know what your current energy thoughts, feelings are in relationship to the person, people or situations you're dealing with. I want to know what your person's energy is this month. And I want a couple cards for the outcome in August 2020. I will also be selecting a card for advice to help you guys get through this month. How is everyone doing out there? Virgos, you guys are so, you're such perfectionists, but you're also so loving. Just saw some cups fly out there or want to fly out. Um, you guys are such perfectionists, so loyal, so loving and caring to the people around you, even though you may not always show it or express it how they want you to. Um, you really care deeply about the people who are special in your life. Everyone has been going through quite a tough time this month. Um, some signs are doing quite well, but others um, are going through a lot of stress, worry, and anxiety. Um, you guys might be dealing with some love um, or new love coming in this month or relationships going to a higher level of commitment because that King of Cups just wanted to flip out twice there as I've been shuffling. It was the same card twice, um, which is really, really nice. I'm very happy about that. Um, yeah, Virgo, obviously crazy, crazy times in the world at the moment. So I hope you guys are doing well. Um, you guys are very, very hardworking, very determined, very, very good at setting goals for yourself. So I'm sure you guys are doing okay. Um, or at least, you know, working towards a more stable situation in your life, um, despite what's going on around you. So let's see where you're at, Virgo. Um, but of course, if you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed at the moment, just um, know that everyone is kind of going through the same thing right now. Um, many, many signs of feeling it. So... I'm just going to put it out there even before we start. You could be dealing with a Capricorn or someone with strong Capricorn in their chart because a couple of cards wanted to flip out. And if you check out the Capricorn reading, those um, cards featured prominently in that reading. Uh, but let's get into it, guys. Virgo, Virgo, August 2020. What is going on here with Virgo, Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus? What is going on with you guys in August 2020? Chariot. Queen of Wands. Four of Pentacles. Wheel of Fortune. Hanged Man. Five of Pentacles. And I'm going to pull one more card here. Virgo for advice for you guys for the month of August. 2020 advice or possibly an affirmation, something that will just um, help you get into a positive mindset, help you get through the month of August and do really, really well and be successful. What does all, uh, Virgo need to hear for August? August is obviously the start or beginning of uh, end of August, sorry, is the start of Virgo season. We're moving from Leo into Virgo, so you guys will hopefully be coming out strong at the end of August 2020. Let's get some really good advice, please. Positive affirmations, positive advice for Virgo, please. We've got the King of Fire, amazing energy, love it. I'm going to pop that to the side here and we will get to that at the end of the reading. So Virgo, you are looking really, really strong this month, or at least that's how you're coming across. You have got here the Chariot and the Queen of Wands. What a combination. What a combination. So Chariot, this is all about um, you know, forging ahead, uh, being independent, knowing what you want, going for it, taking charge, taking action. Sometimes it can indicate, um, you know, trying to, to find balance between, between two things or sometimes being pulled in two different directions. 
so sometimes it can it can be like you're having to manage or rein in two opposing forces in your life this card to me virgo when it comes down to love relationships those sorts of situations this is a card about remember that it's important to love yourself before you get into a relationship or before you take a relationship to the next level make sure you take the time to actually focus on yourself and what your needs are these cards like i said very very strong confident assertive cards i feel like you are really in your power or coming into your power by the end of august virgo but they're not very emotional cards so make sure you don't forget about your you know deep emotional needs we all have them whether we like to think we do or not we all have them so don't forget about your own needs in a relationship. If you're already invested in someone, make sure that you find the time to take care of yourself because sometimes this can be a card of overcommitment to someone. Maybe you're pursuing your person of interest a little bit too forcefully. Maybe they feel a little bit smothered sometimes. So it might be time to take a little bit of a step back and reevaluate your actions and your goals or reevaluate at least how you're coming across to your person. But either way, wow, you are looking really, really good by the end of the month, Virgo. Um, whether or not you, like I said, whether or not you feel like this deep down, you're coming across as very strong, very independent. People are finding you very attractive this month, Virgo, very physically attractive this month. You're looking good. You're confident. You've got it all going on. You um, have a lot of things on your plate. Like I said, you've got a lot of sort of competing um, interests in your life. You've got a lot of, you may even have more than one person who's interested in you. Um, you may have, you know, a lot of important commitments which you're trying to sort of balance um, your energy between, but you're doing it well, or at least you're coming across like you're doing a very, very good job of managing everything in your life. And that's very attractive. This person or you people that you're interested in are finding you very, very attractive this month. But once again, don't forget about your emotional needs. I mean, these cards just, they go so well together. It's its the same kind of vibe, but again, not too much um, emotional expression. A lot of passion, a lot of drive, a lot of determination, not too many emotions. Your person, Virgo, is coming up as the Four of Pentacles this month here. So... I think they are a person who you could be dealing with another earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, doesn't have to be. Um, this person is very, very concerned about um, finding stability in their life. You know, number four, all about, um, all about, you know, building solid foundations, hard work, being practical, organized, um, patient this person sees those qualities in you and they find that very, very attractive, Virgo. But this is also sometimes a card of really holding on to things, keeping things close to your chest, not expressing emotions, not being too open with emotional communication. And I feel like maybe you're coming across with such a strong, assertive energy this month, Virgo, that this person might be, um, it might sort of be intimidating a little bit if, you know, to them, if not intimidating, it's, yeah, it's just maybe making them step back a little bit. Make sure you're kind of letting this person feel like they have an equal say 
in the relationship between you both because they might be sort of a little bit silenced by the fact that you're coming across so strong and assertive. There could be a reason why they're holding back. They haven't revealed enough about their feelings. You're wanting to really move forward. You're ready to go. This person is not at that same level yet. They want to build with you, but they're not kind of going at the same speed as you are. Again, they could be a little bit intimidated. You've got a card here. You've got a major arcana card here on your side, the chariot and the queen of wands. I mean, these are just amazing cards. I feel like this person thinks that you are, you know, maybe more advanced um, than them in life in terms of your stability and they don't feel like they're there yet. They might be there. This person might be quite well off. They might have done quite well for themselves in life, but they're feeling like they need to do more. They are nowhere near where they want to be, even though you might be thinking, hey, you, you, this person is, is also very successful, very hardworking. Um, I admire a lot of qualities in, these, in this person. Even though you think that, Virgo, this person is not feeling like they are anywhere near where they want to be in life. This person is very ambitious. This person wants to achieve a lot. It's coming up, though, with the Wheel of Fortune here. So... This person absolutely feels like success is in the future with you both. This person feels like you are someone that they can build something amazing with and it's going to be successful. You two are going to have luck on your side. Um, the combination of their hard work and your amazing just personality, fire, passion, determination, your amazing personality, um, your perfectionism, your, you know, your willingness to do things the right way um, without hesitation and with courage. This person feels like that is going to be a winning combination with their hard work and it's going to result in something very, very successful. This is all about good luck, destiny, um, a change in circumstances. This person feels, even if they're not doing too badly at the moment, they have, they have accumulated um, some stability in life. Absolutely. Absolutely they have. It's not like they're starting from nothing, but they feel like the combination of you two is going to lead to such an amazing turnaround for them. They're going to um, they feel like it's going to be the start of a real um, upheaval, a real improvement in fortune. Um, some kind of chance for success is what they're feeling between you both. It's amazing. Um, they feel like you're almost part of their their destiny or their karma or something like that. They feel like if they work hard, they're going to achieve success through hard work, but also through luck. Luck is going to be on their side. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune, very, very positive to get in a reading here. Very positive. In the outcome position, we've got some interesting cards here, Virgo. We've got the Hanged Man and the Five of Pentacles. The Hanged Man here is all about patience, waiting, maybe a bit of confusion, or not so much confusion, but just, you know, you don't have all the answers yet. You're not seeing everything um, as it really is. And so that's why this person, this card is upside down because they're trying to get a different perspective on something in order to achieve some kind of enlightenment in a situation. So unfortunately, I think you're going to have to be a little bit patient, um, with this person, Virgo. I don't think, um, again, there's, there's a difference in energy level here because you're so ready to charge ahead. This person is not so ready to charge ahead. And there's going to have to be some kind of, of compromise there. You guys are going to have to come to something. Um, and it's going to mean that you're going to... Uh, you're going to have to be quite patient. 
Virgo, but I think you can do it. I don't think it's going to be a problem. Um, the hangman is actually, I mean, it's like this guy's hanging in this card, you know, it's, it looks pretty bad, but it's actually not so bad. Um, this person is just kind of chilling. Um, they're okay with taking their time. They realize that it's maybe a good idea to gain some more clarity in the situation or see something from someone else's point of view. So I think you're going to be okay with it, Virgo. You're going to be okay. Like I said, don't um, be so aggressive that this person feels they can't come to you or can't open up to you with what they're feeling, what they're thinking, because they haven't done that yet. They haven't really opened up to you yet. And the only way to really get them to do so is to just be patient and kind of let them come to you a little bit you're gonna need to wait for this person this can also be a card of sacrifice so um, it might be saying that by the end of August you might realize in your conversations with this person that you may have to feel like you're you need to give something up in order to gain something with this person so you might have to um, again, because it's a card of waiting, you might have to sacrifice your time. You want to charge forward so um, quickly and so decisively. And this person is like, well, hang on. No, we need to wait. We need to um, properly analyze things. I'm not going to completely reveal my emotions yet. So you may have to sacrifice um, your time and some of that that real drive to move forward you might have to rein that in, that in a little bit again chariot reining in of two um, possibly conflicting energies so you might be needing to on the one hand balance you know your own passion and drive and want to get things moving with this person's um you know, lack of opening up and lack of movement and you're trying to sort of balance the two things. So you're going to need a little bit of patience um, at the end of August, Virgo. It's come up with the Five of Pentacles here. Now, um, this is a card that can signal a little bit of adversity. So I'm not going to lie, Virgo, you might be kind of annoyed upset at the fact that things are not moving at the speed that you want however it's very interesting that traditionally this card in a love reading specifically is actually all about affection and good relationships because there's a couple in this card and even though they don't look like they're doing so well. They look like they're poverty stricken. They're in it together. They're choosing to go through the tough times together. And this is a progression. The five of progression, the five of pentacles, sorry, is a progression from the four of pentacles. So, and it's come up on this person's side. So this person is thinking in their mind, Look, I don't know, maybe this person is just kind of a little bit negative. Maybe they're just kind of um, a little bit pessimistic. Maybe it's just their personality. But they're thinking um, that you're going to have to um, go through a lot of challenging times together to achieve success or to achieve the next phase in your relationship or to take things to the next level. But they're willing to do that. They're willing to go through that. You're kind of a few steps ahead of this person, in your, at least in your mind. This person isn't. This person is seeing how much hard work and effort things are going to take to really grow your relationship together and achieve the kind of things that they want to achieve and to achieve stability and security. So, yeah. 
and it could be why this person is struggling to open up a little bit and look this could this person might be having a lot of financial worries at the moment maybe you know their financial circumstances have changed obviously a lot of people are going through hardships at the moment maybe you know they're not working as much maybe their investments are not you know paying off as much as they would like maybe they're just in general concerned about the future because they had things lined up which are now looking a little bit uncertain so this person is quite concerned about that kind of stuff and maybe that's what's sort of making them hold back a little bit as well but the good news is um, they can see that going through struggles in life is always better when it's shared with someone else rather than feeling like you're on your own at the moment they feel like they're on their own but I think by the end of August they're going to realize that you two could be a really really good team together sometimes this can um, say that if you two and this may um, be applicable for some of you listening if you two have already been having some kind of um, mutual financial issues or arguments about money unfortunately I, th I think that's still going to continue in the month of August by the end of August it may not get fully resolved yet but we've seen a progression and with patience um, will come enlightenment so um, it's 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 not looking terrible I just feel like that could be something that is weighing very heavily on this person's mind Virgo final card here is the king of fire in the traditional tarot that is the king of wands I pulled that for advice but I just want to point out that again we've got king and queen here matching king and queen of wands in this reading so again this is a sign of soulmates you're probably thinking you have found your match Virgo this is a perfect pair um, again male or female doesn't matter but this is um, two complementary people this is amazing um, as general advice wow I mean this is an advice to not lose your passion I mean you're having to be very patient by the end of August as we've seen but don't lose that drive and determination um, however again and this ties into something I mentioned before about don't come across so aggressive or so rigid in your ideas about things that you're not listening to to what this other person is trying to tell you because if you take a step back and just be a little bit more open a little bit more patient a little bit more open to hearing what they have to say they're potentially going to open up and actually um, come to you with a more open communication which is what we all, all want so hopefully um, being a little bit just be careful not to be a little not to be too rigid I don't want you to completely lose your passion because that's amazing and you're coming across as so strong in August Virgo but just be mindful um, of not being too aggressive or fixed and um, inflexible so just be open be patient be willing to let this person come to you with all of their concerns and that will help you achieve um, major success that you both want so with all that being said Virgo I hope you enjoyed that reading for August 2020 if you enjoyed it please don't forget to like the video subscribe and even leave a comment if you have any feedback or if there are other types of readings you'd like to see in the future I read every single comment on this channel so I love getting your feedback um, thanks again Virgo for listening and I'll see you in the next video